week from today. But as Fox News Kelly Hoskins reports this evening, St. Louis County's prosecuting attorney took action today to try and stop the execution. A St. Louis County prosecuting attorney Wesley Bell says that appeal was filed late last night on behalf of Marcellus Williams, who's set to be executed on September the 24th. Marcellus Williams is scheduled to die by lethal injection one week from today. But as Fox News' Kelly Hoskins reports this evening, St. Louis County's prosecuting attorney took action today to try and stop the execution. A St. Louis County prosecuting attorney Wesley Bell says that appeal was filed late last night on behalf of Marcellus Williams, who's set to be executed on September the 24th. We're going to keep exploring every option we can uh, to save his life. The appeal was filed Monday to the Missouri Supreme Court after a judge upheld the conviction and death sentence for 55-year-old Marcellus Williams. He's been trying to get his conviction and death sentence set aside for the 1998 murder of Elisa Gale. The uh, statute that the, legis that the legislature uh, passed a few years ago, which allowed us uh, and gave us standing to be able to um, bring these motions was obviously key. A St. Louis County Circuit judge denied the motion. An evidentiary hearing was held on the case last month after prosecutors and Williams agreed to take an alpha plea to a charge of first degree murder that would have rescinded the death penalty for Williams and left him with a sentence of life in prison without parole. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey argued that the court doesn't have the authority to overturn his conviction or resentence him. That would have given us the opportunity uh, to continue our investigation and also given the defendant his opportunity uh, to appeal uh, his, 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 his innocence claims. The problem is, is that with the death sentence, obviously we can't undo that. Despite evidence showing evidence was mishandled and contaminated, the judge ruled his sentence would stand. That there are credible questions about the conviction, but also potential uh, questions about actual innocence, and um, there, I, I just do not believe it serves the interest of justice to execute him. A petition for clemency has also been submitted to the governor of Missouri by Gail's family, who opposed the execution. Reporting in St. Louis County, Kelly Hoskins.